We'll install a macro in GSAC next on Discover Geocaching. Are you new to GSAC and wonder what a macro is? It's easy. It's just something that allows you to perform tasks. And there are hundreds of macros. We're going to install one today that helps us get our caching statistics. Let's get started. We've opened up GSAC and as you can see, it's empty. So we need to get some caches that's going to go inside this database. We are going to use the My Finds query so that it'll populate all My Finds into GSAC. So we're going to go to the geocaching website. Now this is a premium member feature that we, we have that allows you to come over here in the pocket queries on the pocket queries page and right here it just says my finds and then all you have to do is click add to queue after a couple minutes it'll populate back here on this tab that says pocket queries ready for download so just click on that tab and you'll see my finds pocket query if you click on the words my finds pocket query it opens up a a window that allows you to save your pocket query, your, your finds. So I'm just going to click Save. And down here you can see it, it already downloaded. So what we'll do, show you how, we'll show you how easy this is. So behind is the GSAC window. Here is that file. All I have to do is drag it into GSAC and let go. And, and then click OK. Now it's going to take all of my finds that we just got from geocaching.com and it's loading it into GSAC. Might take a minute or so. All right, when it's finished loading, it shows you a summary page. We'll just click OK. And then it populates with all 4,339 caches that I found. All right, well, this is great, but I want to generate some statistics about my finds. So the way we're going to do that is with a macro. So if we go to macro at the top of the screen, run or manage, and then it shows the macros you have installed. Well, the macro I want to use is not installed yet, so we're going, to, we're going to go find it. We'll click on Online Macro Index. And look at all these macros. Holy macro! And it's kind of hard to find the one we want, so luckily they put a, a search box at the top of the page. So this is my find, and then, oops. Stat. Oh, there's the one we want. Second one down. Find stat generator three. We'll click on that, on the name of it. And then down here at the bottom is where the file is. It's a small file. We'll click on find stat gen three. And where do we want to put it? We'll put it just in my GSAC folder. So let's, we'll click save. And then, so we have it downloaded. Let's go back to GSAC. And we're going to click Install. Then we're going to click on the File folder here on the right. And it went right to my GSAC folder. So if, if it doesn't come right to your, wherever you downloaded the macro, just navigate there. We'll click on... Find stat gen 3, click open and install. And there it's installed. Now, if you want to, you can click on version. And do we want to check the current macro only for updates or all of them? Might as well do all of them. So it's checking for current versions just to make sure I got the right one. And we all of my macros are current. That's good. So here we are. 
and we just make sure you have Fine Stat Gen 3 highlighted. And then you're going to come down to Run. After a little while, it will initialize. And then it will come up to this window here. We're going to click on Options so you can take a look at what the options are. All of the, one of the most important things is that your user geocaching name is correct. And then right here, your home location, and just use whatever you have. Mine is set up as home. If you have yours named something else like, you know, George or Bob or near home, choose that. And you'll see that there is a, a bunch of different options you can check. I'll let you explore those. For now, we're just going to click on OK. All right, and here we go, a nice, clean output. Uh, it has opened up Chrome and put the output of my statistics in a very easy to read manner. And if you notice, here's all milestones. Here's your finds by miles from the home, finds by type finds by difficulty rating, finds by terrain rating, finds by owner. Here's a map that includes all the states that are the United States that I have cashed in, 51 because it includes the District of Columbia as a state. And here are the provinces in Canada, Europe, sad to say nothing in Australia, and so here are all the stats that I asked for. Well, what's nice about this is it puts this on, on the web page, but it also it puts it on your clipboard. So if you were to go to your geocaching.com page and you go to your profile, and we can click View Profile. And then we can edit. We come down. Now I had some things in there already, so we're just gonna we're just gonna scroll down a little bit and see I I put my cursor down below all those things. So if I overwrite, I don't want to overwrite those things. So I'm gonna click down below. All we're gonna do is control V and that will paste what's on the clipboard, which is all those stats into this window. So control V. And as you can see, it went down to the bottom and there's a lot more here than there was before. Now I'm going to click save changes. And then go back to the save changes as well. And then when I go back to my profile, view profile, Now we can see all of those stats. When people visit our, our profile, they will be able to see all those stats I generated with just a few clicks of, the, of a mouse. All done from GSAC. And they did all the hard work for you. And we did that by using a macro. And we used the macro that is called Fine Stat Gen 3. How cool was that? We found some really good stats just by using a macro. We didn't have to do any hard work. Well, I hope you've had fun. I certainly have. Go out there, be safe, and remember to discover geocaching.